This tutorial will introduce Mirror Connect and get you started setting up a Mirror Connect system. To follow along, you'll need a Mirror Connect touchscreen controller and a computer that's connected to the internet. Using the computer, navigate to Mirror Portal. We'll use Google Chrome in this example, but you can also use recent versions of Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. Log into your Mirror Portal account or create a new account if you don't have one. In this example, we'll create a new user and enter their information. For the password, Mirror Portal gives you feedback on the strength of your password. We encourage you to enter a secure one. To see the password, you can click the I. After entering your password, click Create Account. After you've successfully created an account, you'll get a confirmation of the new account. Click OK to continue. When you first log into Mirror Portal, you'll see the terms of service which you need to accept to continue. After this, new users will see a tutorial start. Let's follow the tutorial now to get set up. First, click Add to add a new organization and enter a name for it. The organization is typically the end customer's company or school name. Next, add a site. A site is typically a physical location like a building number or a campus name. Then, add a room. Examples of a room are a conference room, a huddle room, an executive office, or other meeting space. The room name will appear on the Mirror Connect display, confirming to users that they're in the correct room for their meetings. Now that we have a room, let's get Mirror Connect paired to it. Now, let's look at the Mirror Connect screen. After Mirror Connect boots up, it will prompt you to start the setup process with selecting the language for the user interface. We'll select English and then continue. Next, select how Mirror Connect will connect to the network. The controller supports either a wired connection with power over Ethernet, a PoE injector can also be used, or Wi-Fi. This network connection must have outbound access to the internet. For Wi-Fi networks, you can select the network from discovered networks found by pressing wireless. If a wired connection is already in use, you'll see that the system shows a connected message. For Wi-Fi networks, Mirror Connect is currently compatible with networks that are open, use WPA or WPA2 personal security. A note for Wi-Fi users, while Mirror Connect does have a battery, which is useful for demonstrations or temporary operation away from a power source, a system under constant use will need a PoE power source periodically to keep the system charged. Regardless of network interface, Mirror Connect gets an IP address from a DHCP server on the network. We'll go back and use a wired connection for this tutorial. Next, you'll see a pairing code displayed on Mirror Connect. The pairing code is good for an hour, but if it expires, you can request a new code. If you don't see a pairing code, make sure Mirror Connect has an IP address and internet access. You can see the IP address by touching the network name on the upper right of the Mirror Connect setup screen. Now, back on Mirror Portal, select the Mirror Connect pane for the room you added earlier. We see it's already highlighted. And then click Pair and enter the pairing code shown on Mirror Connect. Mirror Portal shows a green circle with a check mark that indicates the Mirror Connect is paired with the room. Mirror Connect also shows it's paired with a message about which room it's paired to. Confirm that Mirror Connect is paired to the correct room and then press Finish. Now that we've paired the Mirror Connect to the room, the tutorial of adding equipment will continue in the next session. On Mirror Connect, you see that the Mirror Connect is ready for you to add equipment. We'll cover this in the next tutorial, adding an audio DSP system.